superstar first graders welcome to your new grade one learning journey and new video we'll discover fantastic stories participate in exciting activities and learn interesting information together on this beautiful adventure so put on your explorer hats because every day is a treasure of knowledge waiting to be found in this weekly video, we will learn to spell words with diphthongs OW and OU. In phonics, we'll be learning about words with diphthongs OW and OU, and we will be learning about the digraphs AI and AY. On Tuesday, we will continue learning about the story Alive with Light. On Wednesday, we'll be learning about verb to be in the past tense. And on Thursday, we will learn about the narrative writing traits and we will learn how to construct and write a narrative paragraph. In this week, we will learn to spell words with diphthongs OW and OU. The spelling words for this week are cow, how, out, loud, owl, and crown. Now let's learn to use the words in sentences. The farmer is milking the cow. How is school today? You need to come out. The music is too loud. Owls have big eyes. The queen is wearing a crown. Words with diphthongs O, W and O. O U. Now let's name the pictures. We see a cow, cloud, and clown. Diphthongs O W and O U. The O sound can be spelled O W as in cow. The O sound can be spelled O U as in cloud. Now let's read the words here. We have wow and out. Vowel digraphs AI and AY. The long A sound can be spelled AI as in main. The long A sound which is A can be spelled AY as in may. So let's read the words here. AI and AY make a long A sound. We have rain and day. So whenever you see the digraphs AI or AY, they have a long A sound. Alive with light. The focus question, what kinds of light do some living things make and why? The genre of the story, is an informational text and it's a non-fiction story. We often think of light coming from the sun or light bulb, but we do not know that many living things create light as well. Alive with Light provides students a look at living things that make their own light and the reason why. The book can also be used to teach you how to identify the main idea and the supporting details. So our objectives are to connect to prior knowledge to understand the text, to identify the main idea and the details, to describe the information provided by the photographs. In the previous video, we learned about verb to be in the present tense. Today, we will learn about verb to be in the past tense. There are three forms of verb to be in the present. We have am, are, and is. But the two forms that are in the past tense are was and were. So verb to be in the past tense can be was, or were. With the pronoun I, I use was. We say you were, she was, he was, it was. 
For the plural, which means more than one thing, we say we were. You were and they were. If the subject is singular, so the right form of verb to be should be was. If the subject is plural, then the right form of verb to be should be where. We say John was, because John is one person, so the right form of verb to be is was. John was 10 years old. He was young. Narrative writing. So when you narrate a story, you tell a story. And when you tell a story, you have to tell what is happening. So you need to use transition words like first, next, and last. And you will use also temporal words. Temporal means time. It's a word that refers to time. So temporal words like once upon a time, yesterday, during summer. Narrative writing. So parts of narrative writing, you need to write the title. And which is here, the nature walk. You are using here temporal words like Today I went on a nature work with my class around the school. So this is the opening sentence or the introduction. Now, as you can see here, he's using transition words to write the sequence of the story. So first, we walked around the playground and I saw the squirrel. Next. We went to the field and walked through the trees. This is next another transition words. Then is another transition word. I looked at a really cool leaf on the ground and I picked it up. The closing sentence. I saw a bunch of cool stuff on our nature walk. So make sure to start it with an opening sentence and make sure to use temporal words and then you need to write the sequence of the events using transition words and the last thing you need to have a closing sentence.